And then the caffeine, which is optional, I say, in case, you know, you have a hard workout and you need a little extra, you know, mm, to get you through the rest of the day, that's what we're going to be using. But I would like to point this out. If you are constantly abusing and overdoing on the caffeine, whether it be coffee, energy drinks, tea, whatever it may be, you might want to look into what your sleep schedule is like. Because if you're just using this stuff as a band-aid over your piss poor pathetic sleep schedule, then you really need to get that shit in check. So I would like to say that sleep takes priority over any supplement, especially caffeine. <laughs> What's up everyone, David here, we got a new video for y'all today, but before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Remember, new videos, every week. So for today's video, we're going to be going over breakfast, specifically a breakfast shake to get you up and going in the morning. We already know, breakfast, most important meal of the day, got to make sure we do it right. Now for me personally, what do I do for breakfast? Liquids. I'm going to be honest, I don't really have a big appetite in the morning. I'm a heavy eater throughout the day, but in the morning, I just need something quick so that when I work out, because for those who don't know, I work out early in the morning, wake up at 5.30, down a shake, then work out at 6. I need something light just to fuel me through the workout, but not something that's going to make me feel sluggish, heavy, and full. So that's where all of this comes into play. Now, there are four main things that I'm looking for when I'm eating my breakfast and making my shakes. Protein, carbs, occasionally caffeine and convenience the convenience is the liquid the fact that i'm just drinking it boom real fast i don't have to sit there and chew non-stop if you don't have that big of an appetite liquid calories easy way to go the protein obviously you know for the gains the carbs because it breaks down the sugars and that's what your body runs off of for energy and then the caffeine which is optional i say in case you know you have a hard workout and you need a little extra you know mm, to get you through the rest of the day, that's what we're gonna be using. But I would like to point this out. If you are constantly abusing and overdoing on the caffeine, whether it be coffee, energy drinks, tea, whatever it may be, you might wanna look into what your sleep schedule is like. Because if you're just using this stuff as a band aid over your piss poor, pathetic sleep schedule, then you really need to get that shit in check. So I would like to say that sleep takes priority over any supplement, especially caffeine. Because let's be honest, if you're taking caffeine, you're tired. There's probably a reason why you're tired. Go to sleep early. Stop staying up so late. Get your sleep schedule in check. Anyways, with that being said, uh, let's pull it out right here. Got my trusty blender. So this is what I personally do. Again, you could cater to whatever you want. Milk, lactose free. I'm not really lactose intolerant, but that's what they had at Costco. Organic, I don't care if it's organic. Just, you know, I need milk. Just look at that. Look at that. Getting big here, getting big. All right, so I personally go 16 ounces of milk, that's two cups for those who want it a little easier. After that, I go half a cup of oats, and this makes up half of the carbs that I'm gonna be eating. The other half of carbs are gonna come from a banana. And again, carbs are not the enemy. I don't wanna be hearing all these people say, oh no, I gotta go keto, no, carbs make you fat, carbs this, carbs that, carbs that, shut the fuck up. No, carbs are not the enemy. Uncontrolled portion sizes are the enemy and simple carbs are the enemy. What do I mean by simple carbs? Well, think about it. People that complain about carbs and what they're eating, what do they use as the example? They talk about breads, donuts, cakes. They choose all the unhealthy examples. You see, when you're eating those type of carbs and you eat a big quantity, of it, obviously you're gonna gain weight. Obviously your health is gonna take a hit, but control yourself, eat some good quality carbs. Some rice with a good amount of protein, vegetables with it, vegetables and fruits themselves, those are carbs, those are healthier options. When you're, when you're overdoing it with junk food, don't be blaming the carbs. It's you and your uncontrolled diet. Afterwards, the banana for a little bit more protein and just for, you know, some added flavor. This right here has been a game changer. This is PB2. All it is is powdered peanut butter. Me personally, I like the flavor of peanut butter, but also for me personally, I break out a lot. You see right now I got the skincare routine a little bit more in check. I got a little bit more dialed in, so I'm not breaking out as much, but I have noticed in the past, whenever I want to try to add peanut butter to add some flavor to my shake and maybe a little bit more calories, I break out a lot. Why? Because of the excess fat. This just as tasty as peanut butter, the fat, goodbye. So I just do one serving, which is two 
tablespoons. And if you were to compare this to regular peanut butter, which I have right here, regular peanut butter for one serving has 16 grams of fat. This one only has one and a half grams. So it makes sense why I wouldn't break out as much. So I put one of that. Something I had hidden back here is honey. Again, quick source of energy. Those carbs, I'm gonna be working out right after this. It's gonna come real handy. I always keep it upside down because this shit fucking freezes or something. And every time I have to tip it over, it takes forever. So I just store it like that. Let all of it sink down. And I just get one good squeeze. Look at those arms, look at the arms. Look at the arms. Right there. Good amount of sugar in there to fuel me. Cause again, I'm gonna be burning right through this. Now, majority of the protein is gonna come from one scoop of protein powder right here. And this is obviously on top of the protein that is coming from the milk and the regular, uh, or not regular, the powder, peanut butter. Done with that. And lastly, this is what makes it a morning breakfast shake. A lot of y'all be drinking your coffee in the morning. I've seen some videos of some people who they actually brew a cup of coffee, then pour that into the blender, then do whatever else they want to add to it. And no one's got time to make a other cup of coffee. So here's what I do. Me being the gym bro that I am, I'm gonna go with Folgers. And look what I did here. I put a scoop that you would find on the inside of a protein powder. It's just an extra scoop I have. And that's how much I put. Just one scoop to get me going throughout the day. And keep in mind, this is early in the morning. After this, I'm not gonna be taking any more caffeine throughout the day. So a lot of people drink their cup of coffee in the morning and then they get the afternoon coffee to get them through the second half of the day. No, this is all I'm taking throughout the day. Again, you shouldn't be abusing the caffeine. If you really need that much energy, then you gotta figure out what's the reason why you're tired in the first place. Most likely your sleep schedule is not as great as it could be. Maybe you're going to sleep way too late. Maybe you're waking up way too early. Maybe you're using blue light glasses or blue, you're using blue, hold up, trying to use big words here. Maybe you're trying or you are using devices that are emitting too much blue light and you're not wearing blue light glasses right before you go to see. I got a whole video on how to improve your sleep quality. Take those things into account and you wouldn't be having to rely on this as much. But for today, just for video purposes, let's get it going. One eternity later. And done. So there you have it real quick, simple video, straight to the point. Again, this is a good protein shake for those people that are looking for a little extra mm, in the morning, you know, a little pick me up. All it is realistically, milk, 16 ounces specifically, but do what you feel is right and choose whatever milk you want. Obviously, if you're lactose intolerant, they'll be getting regular cow milk, get some almond milk, oat milk, whatever. Afterwards, main source of protein, one scoop of protein powder. Main sources of carbs are gonna be one banana, half a cup of oats, oats. A little bit extra flavor is gonna be coming from powdered peanut butter. You can use regular if you want. Me, sensitive to it because I break out a lot. And the honey. And then lastly, the caffeine is mainly gonna be coming from the coffee. But if you're the type of person that wants to go through the extra effort, brew yourself a cup of coffee, wait for that to be ready, then throw that into the protein shake. It just eats up too much time, bro. Just put the coffee grounds inside the blender and blend it up, bro. You're doing this for purpose, not for pleasure. All right, so real easy shake, straight to the point, quick video, comment down below what are y'all's breakfast recipes or protein coffee recipes, whatever you do. I know some people, they get the, the premier, like those cardboard cartons of protein and they just mix it with coffee or whatever. Do that if you want. Comment down below whatever your recipes are. I'll be willing to see what y'all do and try them out. Maybe other people can get some ideas. Also comment down below any other video suggestions that you may have for me, whether it be about motivation, mindset, fitness, nutrition, whatever it is, I'll be more than happy to make a video about it. Make sure you subscribe to not just my channel, but my girlfriend's channel and our couple's channel. So you can, I don't know if you know this, but we got new videos every week across all the board for all three channels. So that's why I want y'all to subscribe. And then for Instagram and TikTok, same thing. Make sure you follow me on my accounts, girlfriends, couples. I put all the links down in the description below. With that being said, I'll catch y'all next time.